Hello, I thought we'd do an informational type video today. Um, outlining my swap from the uh, power steering in my 67 Chevelle to a manual steering. The manual steering box came out of an 84 S15, but it's the, uh, the three bolt style they call it. So that's still all SAE measurements, and so it'll swap into the Chevelle. It'll bolt to the frame like original. Uh, this one's been uh, gone through. I didn't really rebuild it so much as I just cleaned it out good, put fresh grease in it, adjusted it. And uh, I wasn't making videos back then, so sorry. Couldn't really show you. But there's three major things you need to have the right size of. So on your input shaft, you have what they call the three-quarter inch on the manual box. Now, of course, it's bigger on the power steering box. The second size you're going to watch for is your output shafts. Bigger again on the power. You're looking at about a 1.2 inch diameter. Where on the manual box, you're more like a 1.1 roughly. So it's a little bit smaller, and then the, uh, the really the headache I had was this tapered pin on the center shaft. The power steering once again is a larger diameter, and they make a smaller diameter for the manual, but it also turns out that there's a bigger size, the same size as the power steering on some of the manual steering boxes. So, the way I found out how it was, I looked at my 66 and it had the same bigger taper size pen. So, your major headache is going to be finding the right pitman shaft. So, we'll go over to the power steering box. And of course, it's going to be bigger on the splined end. And it's going to be the larger taper on the bottom side of the on. Now on this, I found this part number on some forums and things saying that would have been the right for one for my car, but it turned out not to be. So this one has the smaller sized taper hole. On this one you're looking at around About 0.55 on the bigger end. And then, so what I found out when I looked at that 66 was that there was a large taper pin, but with a smaller spline for the box. So I got to looking and I found the uh, casting number. Now, of course, a casting number doesn't always mean a part number, but in this case, a lot of people on the, you know, certain online marketplace advertised by this number so I have a 569-3762A um, that would be correct I know for a 66 Chevelle with a manual steering it's got the small spline on this end it's got the big taper end on this end which is what you need it's got the bigger taper on this side which is what you need to properly fit on this thing. So I guess you could uh, use this information to swap from uh, either manual to power or power to manual. Um, there again, like I was saying earlier too, your input shaft is going to be different. So you'll have to change out your coupler. I use Lars. They seem to be a pretty good economical solution. So you'd want the coupler number 200 for the manual setup. Now if you're going from manual to power, you would have to change to coupler 201, which is really, like I say, it's going to be bigger here. But this side's going to be the same. They're a good reproduction. They're not perfect because they don't really have the tire treads in them. But it'll work. So... 
And the only real special tools you'll need for the job is a Pittman puller. Uh, I just use my big crescent wrench. And you might need a bigger hammer than that, but mine wasn't really on there that good. So to wrap it up, I think uh, I'm going to be also using a brand new nut and washer. This is from AMK Products. I can't say enough good enough things about those guys. So if you're restoring something and you need hardware, it seems to always be missing when you buy parts from people. Go to AMK Products and they'll fix you right up. So there you go. Let me know in the comments what you think. Now, oh, and I also forgot to add that uh, while this is a very nice part and you can see who makes it and there's other companies that make these they don't advertise the sizes. They don't tell in their ads. I've looked at their manufacturer size and they don't show what size these are. So we'll just reiterate that. The small one measures at about a 5.4, five, 5.5 five, five on the big end where the larger power steering and uh, the large manual steering box will be at uh, 6 point or point six four. So you're looking at point six four versus point five five, and it would just make it so much simpler because I look for a center link with a smaller taper pen and could not find any references to what size it is. They refer to it as being the 7 8 bar or 11 16 so whatever. And so to me, they can make things a lot simpler and sell more parts if they would just put the actual sizes on their website. Thanks again for watching.